Hey guys, welcome back for an episode of Need for Speed Underground for the GameCube. So today we're going to be going to do No Way Jose. Hey, I'm on top, amigo. Don't worry, you can still hang with me. Jose and his Volkswagen Golf have a bone to pick with you. Beat him one-on-one -on -one at National Rail. Okay, I'm excited. It's been a few days since I've recorded, as per usual. I've been to work, I'm back, and I'm just excited to play some Need for Speed, you know. I'm not going to mess around, I want to become number one. So we're having a one-on-one -on -one race here. Is it, is, it, is it just a circuit? I think it's a circuit, isn't it? Okay, I'm revving that engine up like a madman. Okay, golfs are normally pretty, pretty annoyingly fast. So I'm going to try to get rid of this guy as fast as I can. Try to screw him over, because that's what I want to do right now. Get some good old drafting going here. Okay, it turns out, right, I did some research. There is a lot of rubber banding in this game. Okay, he stayed on the road, which is not good. But there's a lot of rubber banding, which means if I make a mistake, the AI will be able to catch up to me. Pretty fast as well. Well, I'm pretty sure it's the second place where gets the rubber banding. And that's annoying. So... The AI gets better, depending on how, how fast you go, so that means the difficulty in this game makes no bloody difference. Like, as you can see, he's catching me up here, and to be honest, he shouldn't be. Like, his his car is not as fast as ours, but I just feel like the the game's making it kind of, like, worth his time, you know, it's making it, him actually work for it. But this is three laps, and three laps is a lot for a race, especially at this level, because this, this seems like a long track. A minute, and a a minute 15... Ah, it's not too long, you know. It's, it, like, I still don't buy drag races are probably the fastest race in this game. And they are, like, the most one I, I'm having right now. I like the drifting and stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, didn't, I did not see that coming, to be honest. Okay, fine. Let's, let's, let's catch him back up. It's kind of a bit of karma there, you know. I, I shouldn't have rammed him, rammed him off. Which I'm going to do right now again. Come on. Come on, mate. <laughs> Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. I know I shouldn't have done that, but, you know, he deserved it. He rammed me off. So if he wants to play dirty, I'll play dirty with him. So look at that, seven seconds behind us. Oh, look at that, we're just getting speed here. Okay, he seems to have actually turned around now, which is good. Okay, I, I, I like these one-on-one -on -one races because it does make it a lot more... Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Okay, that's not good. My own fault. I, I, I did I did crash him off. So it's kind of like... I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll say it was on purpose when it really wasn't. Because it, 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 it was on purpose, okay? It was on purpose. I crashed on purpose. Okay, I, I want to make it fair between us two. I, do, I didn't want to... I didn't want to ruin him like that, you know, it wasn't fair on him, you know. He deserves better, you know, he's a good driver. He's a good driver. Jose, come on, bruh. I'm pretty sure earlier on the Let's Play as well, I called him Joe's instead of Jose. I don't know why I do that. There's just certain names which I can't pronounce right. Javier's one of them, and Jose's another one. Okay, where's this guy at? Where's this guy at? I, and he crashed on his own. He's crashed on his own, hasn't he? He has, Jesus Christ. Okay, fine by me. Okay, might as well take this a bit slower then. Fine by me, okay. Okay, we're not going to go super fast then. There's no point, like, making a big mistake here and, and crashing again. Okay, he is catching me up, as you can see. Like, look at look how speed he's going here. Bloody hell, he is going fast to catch me back up. And to be honest, as long as I don't crash, I think I've got this in the bag. Like I said, one-on-one -on -one races are pretty easy to do as long as you ram them off the road. Like, they got nothing on you. So I've been talking to Tapers Crazy again today about this game, because he started watching this Let's Play, so shout out to you, Tapers. Mad respect, man. And, um, he mentioned why he loves New Speed underground 2 so much more in this game and uh, he said the free roam and I actually had no idea there was free roam in underground 2 and that does make me very excited to play that game because I want to play it I want to see the whole hype around it because if Tapers Creed says a good game's good I believe him he he does have good taste in video games so I'm curious and if he says new speed underground 2 is good for the open world I want to experiment with that but there we go we won by four seconds we actually gained another level we got the N key vinyl, and we got 400 added to our bank, as well as level 2 spoilers. Well, hey! So let's add a new spoiler to our car here, which I'm so excited for. Wait, it's spoilers, accessories, isn't it? It's accessories, yep. And it will be. Oh, no, it's not. Um, Body? Okay, fine. Oh, spoiler, here we go. So we might actually be able to get another level up here. Ooh, Grifter, not a fan. Drag. See, I don't know if that would help out in drag races, though. Oh, I do like the Switchblade, though. Okay. Air Max, I like it. I think I'm gonna have to go um, Switchblade. Uh, another thing I was talking to Tapers Crazy about in this game was the fact that, um, I'll talk about it in a second, actually. First, let's actually start the next race, which is Double Clutch. Yo, Lucky. Hope you're upgrading your ride. Eddie's posse is destroying the competition. You won't have a chance without some serious mods. Watch out for Clutch this time. He's made some improvements since the last time you met. So, me and Tapers was talking about this game again, and he mentioned the fact that, like, he likes the customization in it, but the fact that you have to, like, add stuff you don't want to your car just to make it better, just to add more visual aspects and get more visual rankings, makes it pretty annoying. And I 100% agree with that. Like, 
I hate the fact that my car's got to have a certain hood or a certain spoiler, even if it doesn't look appealing to, to me, just because it'll make it, it'll make it better overall. Okay. Boom, pivot shift is fine. Okay, that car on the left is someone we need to be aware of, but you know, let's cut that guy up and actually get back on the right side of the road here. So yeah, that's another thing I really don't like. I also thought this was, this was the first actual, um, like, Need for Speed game, which I'm wrong. What the hell? So yeah, this isn't the first Need for Speed game. This is probably, I think this is like number six or seven, which is mental to think, if you think about it. Okay, let's, let's not mess around here. Let's get ahead of this guy. Come on, come on. Yes, yes, jump the train. What? What? Blown engine? That's a thing? Wait. We... What? We won that race, though. I didn't know you could get a blown engine. Oh, wow. When you get a perfect shift, that is mental right at the start. Jesus Christ. That burst of speed we just got is mental. I'm not complaining. Like, that is fantastic to have. Like, we just got some crazy amount of speed there. Wow. Okay, let's not blow our engine here. Okay. We are going super fast right now. We're going 165 miles an hour. I just don't want to blow my engine. Okay, let's be aware of this car. Like, uh, I'm going too fast to be aware of when to hit it. That's the thing. Okay, we're going to go straight into the far left lane here. We're not messing around. We're straight into this lane. And let's just dodge that guy. Okay, let's go straight, straight across the train. There we go. That took way too long to do. Oh, wow. Like, that took me like 10 attempts. <laughs> and it wasn't even that hard to do, you know. Oh, wow, we won by 8 seconds as well. Like, oh, we unlocked the Acura SX Type S as well. Pretty cool. So it's time for the next race, which is the Blue Light Special. Want another unique upgrade? I'll give you one. But first, you gotta win. Oh, wow, so we're gonna get another unique upgrade. See if you can get to the City Plaza in 2 minutes and 8 seconds. Courtesy of Samantha. You might pick up a good deal. Of course, we're going to try this, because why not, you know, we get sweet more, it's going to level up his car a bit more. Which, like I said, Tapers Crazy did not like that aspect, and I'm the same, I, I don't like it. I just feel like there's no need to actually get given something like that, like, why limit us by the car we drive and what we want? Like, I, I believe, um, like I mentioned in a previous episode, um, you can do what you want, and, and like, I don't like to be constricted in that regard, like, this game really constricts you with the idea that... You've got to have, like, certain mods and certain spots. I know it gives you a wide range of them, and, and you don't have to take them. But you're very penalised if you don't. You know what I mean? And, like, oh god, oh god, oh god, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, you're very penalised if you don't take the upgrades. So, if you don't take them, it's kind of like, oh, well, um, you're going to have to grind twice as much to get the next vinyl sticker you want, or something like that, you know, which, which I'm fine with. Also, that's not good. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just don't like being very limited in what, what I want in my car. I want something which I'm happy to drive and something which I like driving. And I know I could grind for everything I wanted, but I'm playing this game because I want to play it, not because I have to grind to actually get certain stuff. And I don't know if you can replay missions or not in this game. I don't know if there's a new game plus or whatever, because I've never, I've actually never played this game. This is my first playthrough of the game. And, um, and I just don't like that kind of aspect, you know. I kind of wish there were a way to actually, like, earn it. Also, with the whole, um... Getting custom, like, bodywork from, like, th this girl. We're actually racing this Samantha girl. Do you think... Th this is just a guess here. Do you think she offers more, like, m all of them eventually? Or just one of the body arts? So, so you can only get one of the parts you want per playthrough. That That's a bit annoying. Like, I can understand why they've done that that, that way. But I just kind of wish there was, m like, more ways to actually get what you want also. We've got 30 seconds left and it's going to be a close one, this. Uh, I just kind of wish there was more... Like, you could get everything at one playthrough instead of having to play multiple times. Like I said, I don't know if there's a new game plus or what have you. But it's just a bit annoying to have, you know. And I can understand why they did it. It does add more, like, grinding more. And you're going to get a lot of points anyway from just, like, retrying drifts and retrying circuit racing and stuff. But it's just a bit it's a bit annoying, isn't it? Okay, let's just knife see it. I want to make sure we can do this. Come on. Boom. There we go. It's going to be the end. We've done it with seven seconds left. Six. Oh, wow. This, this is actually... Oh, wow. Four seconds left. That was very close. Very, very tight. Very tight indeed. We just barely did that. Okay, there we go. It's 4K, 125. I didn't actually get a choice of rims. Okay, let's click to have a reward and see what we got here. I love how restarts are already highlighted, by the way, so you can have a go again. Okay, so we get to pick a cool, like, tire, I guess. Okay, ooh, I do like those. I do like those. Okay, let's have a look here. I'm trying to get the ones which actually increase our reputation, which none of them do, so it's pretty much what I want to have, which I like that one. 
I'm going to go with that part. Why not? The NK Arashia 9. So they, they, they look pretty cool, you know. I like my blacked out wheels, and they just look sweet. Get to the point. It's time for a tournament. So uh, a series of races, a number of cars, and a wad of cash. To be honest, we don't really need cash anymore. We've got like 20 odd K, but you know, it's nice to have. I feel like in a lot of the Need Speed games, especially up to like Wanted and Carbon, um, you get a lot of cash you don't really need, but it's nice to have because you can do different cars or you can customize it however you want. But when you stick with one color scheme and one car, it kind of it's kind of a bit of a waste of money, to be honest. If you ask me, yeah. Okay, these guys, none of them have a 240, so that does mean I should be able to win these guys. I wonder how many races are actually in this, so it's two laps, it's going to be probably three races, which I like two lap races, it's, well, yeah, well, circuit races, I know the laps are a lot longer, but it gets straight to the point, you know, I don't like to do the same track multiple times, you know, it's, it's just me, it's just me being me. Okay, straight across the uh, shortcut over here, boom, bam. So I also hate the traffic on the road, I can understand why it's there, because it is underground, and I do like it because it is there, but like I, always, I keep mentioning, it's nice that it's there, but it doesn't mean I have to like it because it is there, you know, it's very realistic in that regard. Um, yeah, it really is. Uh, so a funny story, okay, I've never told a story on my channel before, it's around driving and stuff. So me and Tape's crazy, my good friend, like I mentioned him in like, oh god, oh, that's not good. Uh, okay, question to me, come on, oh, balls, it's fine, let's get some nitrous here. So me and Tape's crazy, we was driving to get a takeaway, we were driving to McDonald's actually, and it was like 1am in the morning. And if you don't know, we live, well, we used to live in a, in a massive city, now we're currently, oh wow, wow, this is a whole different area. We used to live in a massive city, and... Right now we're all over the place, we're all moving out and stuff. And um, and what's actually happened is, we, we pulled up against, uh, uh, across the junction here, also, we, we literally got into first on that, wow. We pulled up in, in a junction and, not nothing odd or anything, it was uh, three or four cars, and most people go to McDonald's late at night anyway, because it's what, it's what people do in the sea, you know. Since McDonald's open 24 hours, you might as well go and utilize that. And was there, and then a car decided to go around us. Balls. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, wow, I'm, I'm surprised I actually kept myself going there. He said to go around us at a traffic light, and uh, and I literally went on a red. Well, he didn't actually go on a red, he wasn't actually at the traffic lights, he went around the traffic lights, and mounted the curb, and it was just... You know when you have one of those moments like, what did I just see? Yeah, that happened to us, and it was, if you're wondering, it was a BMW, and yeah, BMW drivers for you, eh? And to be honest, I love BMWs, I'm not going to slant BMWs, because I think BMWs are fantastic cars. Okay, fine. You can ram me as much as you want, mate, because I'm in first, boys. I'm in first. I do love BMWs, and like I always say, I probably am going to end up with a BMW in the end of my life anyway, because it's the only practical car for me, if I'm honest. Like, I do like my supercars and stuff, but I'm not really going to go and get a fancy car. By the way, we won the first race. Get in there. woo -hey. I'm happy with that. First race won. Get in there. If I could afford a supercar, though, like, I don't know, a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or something, when I've got a lot of money, I might buy one. But in my opinion, it's not for me. Like, hear me out here. I think the fantastic cars, the whole Nissans and uh, and what have you, GTRs. But for me, also, is this just a reverse of the previous race? I'm guessing it is. Um, it's just not for me because I want to have a family one day and I don't want to be driving around in a supercar. I know I could have both and stuff, but it's just... I feel like a BMW or an, uh, I don't know, maybe a Land Rover or something would be the perfect combination for me. I do want to have more, multiple cars if you are wondering. I don't want to be just limited to one vehicle because uh, I've been brought up where all my family, well, my father has two vehicles. He doesn't just have one. He has a, um, a work vehicle and then he has his own car, which is a mini, you know. It, it, he doesn't care as long as it runs, you know. He, he used to be a very um, random fact, okay. My dad used to be a car modder. He used to mod cars and uh, he... Uh, <laughs> Another funny story, which which might sound like really sleazy or something, but um, when my dad was younger, he did a car up. He had a shag carpet, and, and and he ended up getting rats in the roof. Okay, it sounds really disgusting. Okay, it does. So what he decided to do was he was like, oh god, I need to get rid of this car now. As soon as he found out, he got rid of it, and he sent it to his friend for five hundred quid. Which this, this is a long time ago, and this car was very top of the range. It was a brand new, I think it was a Cortina, uh, done up, modded, you know, custom stereo and stuff. And stereos weren't, weren't cheap back then, they were expensive as hell. Oh my god! Oh wow. Oh wow, okay, we actually used our knives there. Jesus Christ. And he ended up selling his friend this car with rats in the roof. <laughs> and uh, it is awful because, like, if someone, if my friend did that to me, I'd be like, oh, you a-hole. But the thing is, like, it could play off like my dad didn't know. 
And it's one of the funniest stories. I always laugh at it when he tells me it. Like, uh, he always tells the family, like, uh, family dinners and stuff. You know, it's one of those stories, like, how my dad used to be a boy racer and he did that. And I'm just amazed that, like, my dad did that when I was a kid. And well, it was, I wasn't a kid. It was, it, was, I, it was before I was even born. Like, it was, like, 10 years before I was born. And, and it was just so funny. And if you don't know, my dad is still kind of, like, into his modifying cars and stuff. But it's just, right now, it's just too expensive to actually mod cars and stuff. That's why he hasn't done it. He, he always mentioned to me as a kid, like, he would love to build a brand new car, you know, custom, um, custom alloys and stuff, everything on it, you know, custom, um, bearings, chassis and everything, that'd be awesome. By the way, we unlocked the G-Ready Vinyl, and that's something my dad always wanted to do, and hopefully one day I can help him, actually, maybe we can do that together, you know, that'd be a pretty cool thing, a pretty cool project, me and my dad working on a car together, I, I, I'm gonna lie, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? And, uh, I don't know, it's like... It would be a nice bond because me and my dad don't really spend that much time. I don't really see him that often nowadays. Um, it's just like with life and work and stuff. I just don't have the time. And uh, I live like 200 miles away. <laughs> so um, it's kind of like a long distance away from, from my parents. And it was one of the best things I did, like moving away from my parents. Because it gave me a lot of um, knowledge in the real world and stuff. Also, I don't know if we actually what, how many points we need to actually win this. So we're just going to go hard here and just not mess around. I'm just going to go straight for it. And... Uh, yeah, like, a lot of people don't really realize my dad used to be a boy racer, and he used to be really into his modern cars and stuff, and he used to spend all his money, pretty much, on cars. Like, like, he, my, my, like my dad used to um, make a lot of money. I'm not going to die. He used to make quite a bit of money back in the day when he was younger, and he used to spend it all on cars. It, <laughs> like, it's going to sound so awful. I think, he, I think he spent, like, 100 grand on a car when he was, um, well, it, it was, like, I think it was, like, 15 grand 25 years ago on a car, which is, like, 100 grand now. Wow, and uh, yeah, my, my dad spent nine car. I think that's actually, I think it was more than 15 grand, but I don't know why I've got 15 in my head. And I can't remember what car he bought or anything, but yeah, he bought a car. It was before I was born and everything, and he loved cars, my dad. He honestly loved cars, and it's crazy how, like, he never got, got really to live his dream. Like, of course, he had to get rid of his cars when he was older, when he got, um, not older, when he got, um, he got children. He, he couldn't really keep his, like, fancy cars, so sadly, he had to settle with a, uh, Ford Escort for a long time, which everyone had, by the way. Everyone had a Ford Escort. Nobody didn't have a Ford Escort back, back when I was a kid. Another thing that was funny as well was um, one of my dad's big, biggest dreams as a kid. I don't like when I was a kid. He wanted a sunroof in his car, one of those, um, you know, um, like a sunroof what, what comes down. And I don't know why. Like it always makes me laugh because like nowadays every car has got some kind of accessibility where you can. Well, a lot of cars have got like a variation where you can lower the roof or whatever. And that was my dad's dream as a kid. Well, when I was a kid. And if he did get one, by the way, and we never used it because the weather in Britain is absolutely god awful. But yeah, family time there. Family time. It's, it, it's just nice to actually live the memories which my which my parents gave me. You know, it's so nice. By the way, have we won? Is that literally the end of the race? Yeah, we, wow. And we're on like level 2 weight reduction kits, level 2 suspension packages, and level 2 nitrous. I like talking to you guys about that kind of thing because it does fly, fly by, you know. I don't think I actually mentioned that my dad used to be like kind of like a street racer and stuff back in the day. There you go. So let's actually go and customize our ride here. And uh, yeah, that's probably the reason why I love, um, I actually love like racing so much. Oh my God, we've got four times reputation. Oh, oh wait, so brand pack, okay. Brand packages does affect the reputation. Okay, so it looks like depending on what you get. Ah, I see, I see. I'm really going to be caring that much. We did get four times and we're up to 300,000 style. Okay, I think I'm just going to see what we've got left the race-wise and see if we can actually get it done in this episode. So our next race is a knockout. I think we're going to set up for next episode. Yeah, I, th I feel like that would be a very good a good thing to have. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like. It'll be great. I shall see you guys next time for more Need for Speed Underground for the GameCube. I hope you guys enjoy me talking about my family stories. But yeah, we're going to do that knockout next time. We're, we're almost at 50 races, actually. Look at that, 50 races. We're almost halfway done with this game, and I'm enjoying it so much. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.